So guys, welcome to your 24th Java tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you the do while loop in Java. Now, what the while loop did, if you remember, is it had a test condition. And whenever that test condition was true, it executed the loop body. But what the do while loop does is execute the body before it even gets the test condition. So you're guaranteed to execute the body at least once before you even check to see if you should be doing it or not. So the first thing we need to, in order for me to show you guys how to do this is a variable. Just make a variable called counter or something, set it equal to zero. Next, let me show you guys the syntax for the do while loop. Go ahead and write do, and then write something to do in your body of your loop. I'm just going to put system out print line, and I'm just going to print that variable counter, but I'm going to spell it right. And next, I'm just going to increment the uh, variable counter so this loop actually ends. And now, after you're writing your loop body, then you write the while condition. So you want to do this while your variable counter is less than or equal to 10. So let's go ahead and show you guys why this works. As you can see in the run box, it goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oops. So we had a counter that was initialized to 0, and it did print it out while the counter is less than 10. And if you're saying, all right, this looks an awfully lot alike, a lot, wait a minute, it looks an awfully lot alike, there we go, like the while loop. So if you're wondering why is this even different, let me show you guys. It only does this loop while the counter is less than or equal to 10. So what if our counter was initialized to 15 or something like that? Well, what it would do, since it doesn't check the condition until after the loop, is it executes this first, so it would print out 15, and then it would see, all right, I'm only supposed to do this while it's less than or equal to 10, so I'm not going to do it anymore. So let me go ahead and run this, and as you can see, in our run box, we get 15. So that is the difference between a while loop and a do loop. Anytime you want to do something at least once, you use a do loop. Anytime you want to test it first and only run it if the test is true, that's when you use a while loop. But again, a do while loop guarantees you at least one run of your loop, and a while loop only runs it when um, the test is true. So that is how you use a basic do uh, combined with a while loop to form a do while loop. That's what it's called. So practice this and um, after a while you get good with it and I'll show you why it's useful later on. This re wasn't really a useful application but this does have many uses in Java programming so I'll show you why when we build applications later on but for now just get familiar with the syntax with it and once you are uh, familiar with it you're ready to move on to my next tutorial. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.